The ECTC presents RECP installation on a slope application. Step 1. Site Preparation The first step is to prepare and properly grade the site. It is important that the site is properly prepared before laying down any rolled erosion control products. Grade the site to a smooth profile and ensure it's free from any large clods, gullies, rivulets and debris such as large stones, roots or sticks. Fill any voids and make sure that the slope is properly compacted. Slope preparation can be done either by hand or by machine. With the site prepared, move on to step 2. Seed and Soil Amendments the next step is to seed the area. However, before applying seed, be sure to use proper soil amendment practices. Always match your seed to site conditions. This allows for optimum germination, root system development, vegetation density, and long-term functionality. Seed selection may also vary based on the water conditions expected immediately after installation. Step 3. Dig the Anchor Trench. The rolled erosion control product must be anchored to the top of the slope. An anchor trench is used whenever there is the possibility of overland flow. Overland flow is water that is coming from an upland source. If there is overland flow and an anchor trench is not used, water may get underneath the rolled erosion control product, causing erosion underneath the product. Preparation of an anchor trench involves digging a trench 6 inches deep by 6 inches wide. Dug by hand or using a machine, the anchor trench should be located three feet back from the crest of the slope. Once the anchor trench is dug, we're ready to place the product. Step 4. Place the RECP. The RECP now needs to be placed in the anchor trench. Once the product is placed in the trench, securely staple it to the trench bottom using a staple or stake every 12 inches. After securing the product, backfill the anchor trench and compact the soil. Place seed over the compacted soil. The next step is to fold the product over the compacted anchor trench. Anchor the folded RECP by stapling or staking the product between the anchor trench and the crest of the slope on 12 inch centers. The product is now ready to be rolled down the slope. Step 5. Unroll the RECP. With the RECP anchored at the top of the slope, it's now ready to be unrolled down. Unroll the product by hand to ensure intimate soil contact. Walk the product backwards down the slope, guiding it as you go. You do not want to kick or let the product roll down unaided, as this can cause damage and pull the product out of its anchor trench. Installation option, overlap or a butt. There are two main methods of laying rolled erosion control products beside one another down the slope. Some manufacturers recommend that the product be overlapped 4 inches and secured. Other manufacturers recommend the installer abut two rolls and secure the edges together. The ECTC recommends that you follow the manufacturer's guidelines when installing. Step 6. Secure the RECP. The next step is to secure the unrolled product to the slope. A typical installation requires one staple every 3 to 5 feet vertically, staggered every 18 to 24 inches horizontally across the RECP. The ECTC recommends that you follow the manufacturer's recommended staple pattern. The steeper the slope, the more staples needed. Staples can be applied either by hand or mechanically using a staple gun. Step 7. Shingle Overlap When one product ends, you must shingle overlap a new roll. A shingle overlap is made by placing the upslope product over the downslope product. There should be 4 inches of overlap between the upslope and downslope RECPs. Final Step. Toe Anchoring The final step is to roll the product 2 feet past the toe of the slope or up to any vegetation that may be at the slope's bottom. You do not want to cover any vegetation. Secure the toe with staples or stakes one foot on center across the RECP.
the rolled erosion control product is now successfully installed. The method just described works for degradable RECPs and turf reinforcement mats that do not require soil filling. If soil filling is required, the basic installation steps remain the same. However, there is some change to the sequence of installation. For turf reinforcement mats requiring soil filling, the first step is to grade and prepare the soil surface. The next step is to install the TRM as previously described. The third step is to place seed over top of the TRM. Finally, with the seed down, cover the turf reinforcement mat with soil and consider a degradable RECP to cover the bare soil and accelerate vegetative establishment. That concludes RECP slope installation. We hope you've enjoyed this video. For additional information, contact the ECTC at ectc.org or contact the product manufacturer. Thanks for watching.